Hello friends and welcome to the cottage. <laughs> yes, believe it or not, I am doing a second video today <laughs> because um, my foster grandkids are on a visit with their mom. So I am actually getting a little bit of time up in the nursery, which has been absolutely amazing. Anyway, I want to address a issue that um, more than one of you, more than two of you, um, probably more than 12 of you have um, spoken to me about on Facebook Messenger or on email. And that is, how do I get my messy, disorganized nursery um, fixed up? And because I am, well, I'm somewhat of a minimalist and I live to organize. Like if I was have, going to have any other type of YouTube channel, it would be on organization because um, I love it. I love, love organization. I love coordination, organization. It's just, it's my jam, you guys. It's absolutely my jam. So anyway... Um, given that I have done a lot of videos over the years about how I organize and, and that type of thing, I get a lot of emails and messages of you guys asking me, like, how do you do this? Because I'm, I'm so overwhelmed. My nursery is such a mess. And, you know, I have so much stuff. And, uh, you know, I hear that all the time. So, guess what, guys? I am doing a tough love video for you guys. So no whining, no complaining. I'm going to show you what I do to stay organized and feel comfortable in my space with my dolls. Um, and I highly recommend if you're not putting any of these things into place that you do the same because you get so much more enjoyment out of your hobby. Um, if things are e easily accessible, um, organized, and yeah, it's just, it's a whole completely different experience when you know where things are and how to get them. And if you want to dress a baby, you just have to go to a few different spots to pick out what you want. You know, when you have big piles of clothes here and piles of clothes there and, you know, totes here and totes under the bed and um, you know, it just, I really think it takes away from the hobby because it's just, it gets kind of stressful and frustrating. Anyway, that's my opinion. Seems to be a lot of your guys's as well, because I get a lot of messages, a lot. So I'm just going to show you something to start off with. Last week, I had the opportunity to go to Once Upon a Child with my mom. Um... And I'm just trying to think now. Oh, okay, that was the day the kids were on a visit with their with their mom. So I went to pick up kids for our stuff for the kids to go back to school. Um, but it was also Once Upon a Child's spring event um, where they have all, you know, they sell all their beautiful dresses. And I bought a couple of dresses for my, um, for my granddaughter, um, my foster granddaughter for, you know, leading up to Easter and Easter because she's all about frills and sparkles and, you know, that type of thing. Anyway, I'll show you what I picked up for myself. Um, and ironically, I picked up this outfit, which is a little me outfit. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I am a hardcore little me fan. Little me is probably one of my all-time favorite um, lines of baby clothes and it's quite pricey here in my part of Canada but and the only place uh, that we can get it is at our iconic department store the Hudson's Bay I saw this on sale I'd say about a month ago and I almost almost ordered it was marked down from like 29 down to about 17 um, and you know, of course it's got pink, but look at, it's got pink bunnies and you guys know, I mean, I, I, I scour the earth for bunny wear because I'm a bunny girl. 
Anyway, um, look what I paid for it. Like, what? <laughs> That's crazy. I was gonna pay, I think it was, it was just under $30 um new you know like uh, without the sale then it was down to about 17 on the sale and then this is what I picked it up for and I kid you not it's brand new I don't think it's ever ever been worn but isn't that so sweet it's got this little um striped jacket and look at the little pink bunny isn't that so sweet oh so my thing anyway this uh, Once Upon a Child that I go to, all items of clothing have to be freshly washed. That is the rule. Um, they cannot, you know, have stains, rips, and they have to look and smell like they're freshly washed. So I uh, tend to just put them away in my drawers. But I just want to show you, just going to show you, um, if my tripod's not going to be dumb. I just want to show you how I would put this away. So I would fold it in half like that, tuck in the sleeves, and then I'm just, I'm going to just roll it in a roll like that. Tuck in those sleeves. And I will show you the drawer. I will put this in the drawer. And you know what? I have tried all different types of, um, of what do you call it of organization so that I can see what I have and get to what I want um, but by far the rolling method it's the bomb you guys it's the bomb I bought this other sleeper again I think brand new never been worn um, it's a Carter six month but I mean seriously it's a heather gray and it's got different colored mushrooms all over it and we grow a lot of different mushrooms here on the farm um, some good, some not so good. Um, but I, I don't know. I just have this thing about mushrooms. I just think they're so darn cute. So I'm just going to show you with this. I'm just going to fold it in half, tuck the sleeves in, and then just give it a roll like that. And then, you know, it, it, it fits nicely in the drawer. And there, see? And, and then you're able to see what it is. Um, I also picked this outfit up. Um, I think this is from Carter's last year. I sort of remember seeing this uh, my first Easter. And um, th this, this it's mint green. It's got like the onesie and then it's got the leggings um, that are like a striped, you know, like a mint stripe. And then, I mean, this kills me. Look at this. <laughs> gosh I think Carter's is having a sale right now on their Easter stuff because we're coming up to Easter like really fast you guys I am just working on my Easter baskets I'm doing Easter baskets for um well for my youngest daughter of course because she's still my baby and then of course my two um foster grandkids I'm doing them spectacular Easter baskets and then um I decided rather than doing Easter baskets for um, for my husband and my mom, my other kids will be away. Um, I'm going to just get them a big, beautiful chocolate Easter bunny from our really high-end chocolate shop here on the island. Um, rather than, you know, do an actual basket for them. Because, oh gosh, that gets to be a lot of work. So, and I know they'll just be happy with it. And I'll make, of course, a beautiful Easter dinner. Anyway, I am going to take you around and I am going to show you what you need to get really organized and, you know, stop getting anxious and overwhelmed. So I'm going to grab one of these, these little bundles that I have made and I'm just going to show you. And as many of you know, I did a huge, huge downsizing um, at Christmas time or just before Christmas and I really had to kick my own butt because I wanted to keep everything because everything was cute but I, I had to really choose stuff that I really hadn't even looked at in you know six months to a year I mean if you've not even looked at a baby outfit 
for six months to a year, yeah, you can, you can, you know, either donate it to, um, you know, to a, uh, well, in my case, uh, to the hospital auxiliary, which supports our local hospital, uh, or to uh, mom and baby outreach program, or, you know, you may choose to sell um, your clothes on Macari or Marketplace or whatever. I personally, I prefer just to bless somebody. It's just not, you know, secondhand clothes are just not, well, or you can take them to Once Upon a Child, of course, and then you will, you will make some money or, you know, a local consignment store. Anyway, I'm just going to show you here. I'm down to, okay, that's not the, the right drawer I'm looking for. Um... I am down to um, nine drawers. Um, of course, they are very deep, uh, large drawers. Actually, that is the right, this is the right one because this is six months. So I have a, I have a um, newborn drawer. I have a zero to three months drawer. Um, now these are for girls because I only have one boy in my collection. So zero to three months, newborn drawer. I highly recommend these drawers, by the way. This is just for boys. This is my, this is for my toddler girls. Um, so this is like 12, nine, nine and 12 months. So that's for Genevieve and Elizabeth. And you know what? I have a wardrobe where I have, you know, really special dresses hanging up. But honestly, I do not think that these dolls need more than one big drawer full to the top. Like, I just, I think that's just, you just don't need more than that. And if you have more than that, you know, go through, be tough with yourself, and downsize. Um, so this is, this drawer is for um, my Maddie's and um, Esme. And so they are the six month. And I think that's what I have most of is because I have two Maddie's and of course Esme, um, my Tobias sculpt, they, you know, I have the most. So, um, so that is, these are all six month clothes or three to six months clothes. And you know what, that's, two drawers for those three babies that's a plenty plenty and then down here I have this is just holiday wear Christmas uh not Easter because Easter is dresses and it goes in these ones but um like Christmas uh St. Patrick's Day Halloween is all in this big drawer here now this these are all dresses from like zero to, you know, 24 months because my babies wear so many dresses. Um, I keep, you know, dresses in these drawers for those two sizes. This one's not as full, but these are just dresses. Um, over here, I have three drawer, a three drawer unit. So this is just hats this drawer this is just hat here I'm going to move you back a bit this is another one of those you know Walmart um, plastic drawer systems so this drawer is just hats now you got to remember if these get too full I donate stuff because if they're getting too full then okay this is just cardigans not winter jackets or anything. They're hanging in the wardrobe. Just cardigans. And that, then down below here, um, this is just, I don't know why those are in there, but this is just uh, leggings and booties. Like, uh, you know, or not leggings, like tights. Tights and booties in this drawer. So hats, sweaters, booties. And that's, you know what, that's enough. That's enough. Now, my, my current collection, I have 10 dolls. If you have a way, well, you know, even if you have a way bigger collection, you know, you can rotate clothing. I have a basket here. Sometimes I keep it in the bathroom. Sometimes it's just sitting there. 
this is all my hair products. I got this at Dollar Tree. Really cute basket, actually. I love this basket. It's got handles on it, so you can carry it around with you. It's got my brushes, um, my lubricant for my silicone babies. It's got all my hair products. Um, it's got my um, silicone um, powder and brush. Yeah. That is my, so I'm, when I'm going to do a video, I just grab that and throw it on the bed. And I'm all set. It's got all different types of brushes. Okay. Now, I do have this wardrobe here. And I do hang, like, that beautiful dress. If you watch my video that I posted this morning, um, it has, it, it's where I keep my, you know, my baby's, like, real kind of fancy like this is a Christmas dress or like kind of a pinafore I guess you would call it um, which with a matching turtleneck this is for Genevieve and then by behind here I have you know another Easter dress which I'll probably be putting on Elizabeth and then you know there's coats in here and there is their Halloween Halloween costumes so I do use the wardrobe Okay, so coming over here, I have this um, cardboard box that I bought, you know, a pretty cardboard box that I bought at Michael's on sale. And in here, I have all my pacifiers and my pacifier clips in this zippered that's all my pacifiers and pacifier clips. I have all my bows bagged. I have my two most popular used bows are pink. And I've got them in this, you know, in this, uh, sh you know, chiffon bag. And my other most popular color that I use is white. I've got this in a chiffon bag. And then, you know, like just mixed colors that I don't use all that frequency. They're in, they're, for some reason this is open. Like blues and reds and, you know, colors I don't use very frequently. Sorry, I'm, this was open for some reason. Just going to close it up again. Yeah, these are colors I don't use very often, but I do use on occasion, so I keep them around. This is earrings. I think I got this at the do yeah, I got it at the dollar store. I got it at Dollarama for a dollar twenty-five. This is all my earrings. Okay. These are my little um, you know, my little chiffon bags that I use to put scent beads in my drawers. I always keep those on hand. Um, because I'm always switching out my scent beads. Yeah, so all that kind of stuff I keep in this box. It all fits in nicely. Just like that. Okay, over here I have a drawer um, that we should all have. Or, you know, a, a, a tote. And this is folders with all my COAs in them. All my COAs are in these folders, and that's the only thing I have in this drawer. It's just COAs. So if I'm wanting to, you know, sell a baby or um, or look information up about a baby, I have all that information right here in this drawer with nothing else in it. Um, yeah. So that is my. Um, that's you know that's my system. And you know what? Everything I bought to organize myself, I bought. And then, of course, you guys know that I use um, I use Moses baskets to display my babies. I've got four of them. I bought them all on Amazon. Um, I think they're just beautiful to display babies in, especially since if you like to take your babies like over to, you know, I take them over to my mom's and I carry them in their Moses baskets. Um or, you know, in their, depending, I can put them in their car seat as well. But, um, yeah, 
yeah, that's, that's, you know, kind of, um, how I do it. And like the Moses baskets I got on Amazon, the, the drawers, I got $30 for three drawers at Walmart. The Moses baskets, they're, they can get pretty pricey. Some, you know, they're, they're around a hundred dollars Canadian. Um, you know, that little three tiered shelf. Oh gosh, I think that I got that on sale for about $20. That little basket that I keep my hair stuff in was a dollar twenty-five. Um uh you know the um this here, this bin that I keep my um you know pacifier and hair stuff in, I think I paid it was on sale for like $9.99 at Michael's. They have those on sale. Actually, this time of year they often have those on sale. So none of my um stuff that I'm using to keep my uh, baby stuff organized is, um, you know, is expensive. Like none of it is expensive. Um, it's, you know, all, you know, pretty reasonable. It's not like you have to go out and, you know, spend a fortune on, on a, t you know, an, an organization system. And honestly, if I'm going to dress a baby... Um, you know, like if I'm going to do a video and I want to dress a baby, like it's like just a matter of, well, I'll show you guys. If I want to dress a baby, um, so I would think, okay, which baby am I going to dress? Um, hmm, who am I going to dress? I will go get, um, I'll go get Gabri, no, I'll go get Esme, Esme. <laughs> I look at Esme. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I look at Esme. Okay, I'll put her here on the bed. Um, so I'd go get Esme, right? And what am I going to dress her into? Well, I'll go into her drawer um, with the clothes that fit her. And I will grab, let's see, what will I grab? And of course, all of my clothes are uh bundled with the you know the pants like here's an example when i do the rolls i roll up i roll the rolls up with the whole outfit except for the hat and the you know the socks because um those go in a different uh, place um but see this you'll just see i just open this so I've got, I grabbed that roll, I got a pair of rose pants, and then I have two shirts that I bought to match those pants. I've got this one, and then I've got this one. Those both match those pants. So I keep those rolled up together. Like if you have one pair of leggings and you have two tops that go with, roll them all together. So when you grab that roll, you've got that option. Um, okay, and what else am I going to need? Well, I'm going to need uh, headbands. So uh, I would want a rose headband. So I grab this bag um, because this has all my rose headbands in it. And I can throw that on the bed. And um, of course, I don't really need any hair stuff because Esme is a baldy. And we just love her that way. Um, but so I've got outfit choice. Um, now I may want to add a pacifier to her outfit so I can grab my pacifier, throw that on the bed. Um, yeah, you know, I want, I may want a different diaper for her. Tucked in beside the shelf here is my, um, bag with all my diapers in it. I've got every size you can imagine in here. Um, you know, I, I received this, uh, reborn, reborn doll bag when I ordered one of my replica babies and I use it as a, um, as a diaper bag. I just keep all my diapers in it. It's got a drawstring. It's really handy dandy, but yeah, see how easy that is. I have friends that tell me, uh, I just don't have time to make a video today because it just takes so long to dig through everything and try and find stuff. And, oh, I should show you socks. Not that I, I hardly ever use socks, you guys. Hardly ever. 
But this is my basket of socks. I know it's crazy full. But this is all my socks. So if I need socks, throw them on the bed. I got socks. But yeah, like you would not believe how many of my dolly friends say to me, oh, I'd really like to do a video today, but it just takes too long. You know, it's just going to take too long to, to, um, you know, dig everything out and try and find, you know, headbands and all that. If you simplify your system, you can be set up to make a video in, you know, two minutes. <laughs> And, you know, and or or if you just want to play with your dolls and change your dolls. Um, I know of people that often just don't even want to play with their dolls because they just don't want to deal with digging around trying to find the stuff they need. So, like I said, all of the stuff I use to, you know, to store my babies, um, you know, I... Uh, have picked up, you know, somewhere really cheap, like really cheap. Like I just remembered, um, my bottles. If I want to use a bottle, which I don't, um, often use a bottle, but I have them in, oh, well, it's kind of buried under there, but I have just a small bin in the wardrobe here where I keep my bottles. Um, I don't have that many of them because, uh, you know, I really downsized on all that stuff. But, um, but yeah, I, it's really easy to access them. So anyway, just some ideas, a little tough love, um, for those of you who are not fully enjoying their hobby because everything's so disorganized that you get defeated and you just don't enjoy your hobby. Get off your butt. <laughs> not literally, but you know what I mean. Get off your butt and put some organization um, things in place and downsize. Downsize, downsize, downsize. Go through your drawers and be tough. If you have not looked at or used that outfit in six months to a year, donate it, sell it, whatever works best for you. Anyway, I hope this helps some of you. And as always, take care.